In this video we'll take a look at how enzymes actually work. The original theory of how enzymes work is called the lock and key theory. We know that enzymes lower the activation energy because of their structure. Each type of enzyme has characteristic ridges, grooves, and pockets that make it unique. Particular pockets that are active in catalyzing the reaction are called active sites. Two substrates come together to form a product or one large substrate can be broken down to form two products and that's what we have in this image. Without enzymes high temperatures uh, would be necessary for this. Each substrate shape fits into its own active site on the enzymes and bonds with the substrates bonds within the substrates are then weakened allowing them to bond with one another or to break as is the case in this case forming a new molecule or new products. In the smaller image shown below we can see two substrates entering an enzyme to form an enzyme substrate complex and a new product is formed. If we take a look at the enzyme it has not changed from the original form. So this is a hallmark of enzymatic reactions where the enzyme promotes the reaction without actually being involved in the reaction and without being used up in the reaction so that it can once again catalyze another reaction. Now an extension of the lock and key theory is the induced fit theory and this is the currently accepted explanation for enzyme function. It states that the enzyme active site does not have an exact perfect fit to the substrates and what happens is that the active site actually changes shape slightly to better grip the reactants as you can see here and as a result products can result because of the changes in bond activity. So this is an extension of the lock and key theory. Okay, So that's a brief explanation of how enzymes do their job. In our next video, we'll take a look at the factors that affect enzyme activity.